Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio available in the link down below. And you're also welcome to support us over at Patreon. So let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we did rally at one point all the way up to 13k and ended up at this roughly 12.8k. So yes, what we're looking at here is that we are basically running out of steam. And this was expected as we are basically at the top of this upper channel here. And we basically need a pullback in order to go higher from here. So expectation is kind of that we'll pull back towards a 12.5K. If we drop a lower than that, then we have the 15, 20 simple moving average right underneath at 12.2, and then a 50 moving average at 12 at this current stage. Drop below the 50, and then we're looking at the significant lower levels back towards the very lows here. But at this current stage, we are still um, trending within this channel and it is not until we basically get towards the 200 moving average that i think that we'll have a turnaround here if we do have a turnaround it may well be that the lows here in june was basically the lows and we're not gonna see lower than that if you look at macd is still bullish stochastic is bearish rsi is bearish as well so we were on the edge of being overbought so a pullback would make sense here and would also fit with this uh, trend that we're looking at we're also entering an area that should be massive uh, massive resistant we basically have the lows here and we have the highs over here uh, from from june and this sh should be an area where we find uh, resistant and that's also what we're seeing so I'll pull back from here that would make sense the next few trading days and then continuing higher. So let's look at the S&P 500. Very similar here. We are pulling back also here. We have a fairly nice trend line that we are within. And at this point, it would make sense if we pull back to roughly 4,040, give or take. 50 moving average moving in this direction. And if we break below the 50, then we may go significantly lower. Otherwise, we may rally from that point as well until we get towards the, the 200 moving average. There's also an area here from roughly uh, 4,140 all the way up to 4,200, uh, 4, which should be a massive resistance. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So pull back the next few trading days, that would make sense. We'll most likely see the um, MACD cross here within the next uh, few trading days as the stochastic and RSI usually move faster than the MACD. So this would be a bearish indication as these are also bearish indications. So let's look at the Dow, Dow Jones and Dow Jones has really fallen off a cliff. It is down more than 1%. And um, it doesn't mean that we are going to drop back towards the lows. We have the 50 moving average moving in this direction. It may well be that we'll pull back towards the 50 or we'll just hang on to this channel and then rally from here. But this is an indication that people are willing to sell. There is no pullback at the end of the US session basically meaning that people are selling into the close and that is usually a bearish signal. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So a pullback was always expected after this uh, very bearish candlestick here. We were also running into the area of resistance that will most likely take some time in order to get through. So. Let's look at the DAX. The DAX is still holding on to the 50 moving average. We fell below and then rallied. That's a good sign for the DAX and it may well be that we will continue within this channel going forward. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, whether or not we break down from here or rally. Uh, but this has been fairly consistent since we uh, hit the double lows of uh, down here in in May. But uh, 
Yes, we have broken the 50 million average, we're above it. If we manage to take out this candlestick from yesterday, then we may go back towards these highs. Um, and if does so, then we may also go heading towards the 200 moving average. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is uh, bearish in bullish territory, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the Japanese uh, Nikkei, and we're still holding on to the 200 moving average. It has offered massive support, and that is a fairly good sign. We're in a fairly um, a range of roughly 27.5K uh, up towards the 28K. Going towards the 200 moving average, we have bounced, and if that continues, then we will most likely see the 50 moving average moving in this direction, 200 moving in this direction, and then we'll have a golden crossing, which signals a bullish momentum to the upside. Market has been trending downwards for some time, and the 200 moving average has basically been the catalyst that has basically broken um, where this has broken down. So if we were to break below that 200 moving average, in the, uh, then we may see this market drop back towards the 25k. MACD is, is still bullish, but it's turning around fairly quickly. The stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So momentum, considering these technical indicators, is to the downside. So let's look at the VIX. VIX has tried to rally up towards the 200 moving average and has been rejected quite heavily. So rather than my last video that the VIX uh, 200 moving average will most likely move in this direction, 50 moving in this direction, and the 200 will most likely start acting as resistant from here. If that is the case, then we may see this market go even lower, and that is a fairly bullish shine for stocks and also indices as volatility um, becomes less and fear in the market also becomes less. It We are in a really tight channel here and it is a it's a negative channel um, and and um, as long as that is the case then we are just gonna go lower MACD is still bearish stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well we have those seen this before that we have broken below the 200 moving average and then rallied seen it on several occasions in the last few months so this may also be also be something similar to this some kind of bad news can trigger massive volatility in this environment so look at the 10 year it has absolutely exploded to the upside and that was also expected as we were on the edge of being oversold so this got way oversold and overstretched and therefore it has rallied 20 simple moving average moving in this direction, 50 moving in this direction, and we could get rejected here, and we could also get rejected at the 50. 200 moving average is kind of the floor in this market, and we'll most likely see this market bounce from there. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button, and see our new videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.